Lauren, another thing that you're really doing right now is you're working to change laws in the state of Florida regarding sexual abuse. When did you realize that something had to be changed here? Absolutely. Um, I think our first real foray, and, and my first real foray into um, changing laws and, and see, feeling that there were things that needed to be changed was when our victim's advocate said to me, I needed to get an HIV and AIDS test. Um, I got that test and thank God it came back negative. However, um, that disease can lay dormant for six months to a year before it will show up on a test. So we asked the court to have Waldina, the nanny, tested. Um, we were, they sat on, the judge sat on that order and we were told that her rights as a prisoner were more important than my own to, and I was not allowed to be given those results. Um, my dad is a lobbyist, so that's something he does really well. So he and I traveled to Tallahassee, and in the closing days of the legislative session, all those years ago, we worked um, on a bill that required um, HIV and AIDS test results to be given to the victim, and in the case of a minor, the victim's family, within 48 hours of a request. And today in the state of Florida, that is the law. And from that time, we've worked really hard to find loopholes in the law and look for things that we have found that need to be changed. This year, we're working on victimless prosecution, um, but one of our biggest and, and proudest victories with our legislative body um, was the elimination of the statute of limitations in the state of Florida. Um, last year, we worked on making Florida the only truly mandatory reporting state in the country. So not only is it somebody's moral obligation, now it's everyone's legal obligation to report abuse if they suspect it. Um, and that's that hotline that you see at the bottom of the screen today. Um, if you see it, don't miss the signs and report it. Um, so we've really done a lot of work and, and it's been really exciting, very rewarding. Oh, it sounds like this is awesome, everything <laughs> that you're doing, Lauren. And now let's talk about Walk In My Shoes campaign. Sure. We haven't even hit on that, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me about how Walk In My Shoes campaign, you know, all began. Sure. Um, four years ago, mm -hmm. I was thinking, how could I really get out there and talk to survivors and let them know what was in their communities? Um, so I was driving home one night and heard on NPR about a man who walked across the country. So I called my dad and I said, I'm walking across the country to bring about awareness for child abuse. And he said, you're crazy. That's <laughs> not going to happen. And I said, oh, yes, it is, because anybody who knows me knows if I set my mind to something, we're going to do it. Um, so he said, let's dial it back. So we said, let's walk um, in Florida, where you're from. And I started that first year um, in the home that I was sexually assaulted and walked all the way to Tallahassee. Um, and from that time and from that year, we have grown every year um, exponentially in the people that have walked with us and the miles that we have done. Um, that first year was only 500 miles. Now we're up to 1,500 miles. Um, during the time of our walk, we'll, we have over 55 different events um, for people throughout the state to be involved with, to bring about that awareness and to connect people with services and to provide that hope, healing, and recovery all along the way, every step of the way. So awesome. And now who is joining you on the walk, Lauren? We have a fabulous walk team, um, just some incredible people who have really been so, so wonderful. Um, you can find them on our website, and I would ask everybody to check out the website. Um, you can watch, watch us walking live, um, see pictures from our kickoff back in Tuesday, um, track us all the way along the way. Um, it's www.laurenskids.org, and, and I'm just a really, really lucky girl to be able um, to go out there and talk to survivors and talk to kids about prevention. 95% of sexual abuse is preventable with education and awareness. And so it's one of my greatest joys to be able to go into different kindergartens throughout the state and BPKs and talk about the difference between a safe secret and an unsafe secret and how important it is to be with a grown-up buddy and use our safety stop sign. Um, and it's just, it's a great opportunity and this is my favorite time of year. Lauren, your energy and everything, you're, you're, it's just so contagious. Oh, you're such you. a positive person. So it has to be so great for people to see you. You know, you've gone through the experience that you've gone through, but look at you. You are happy, you. you are joyful. You. Have you had people come out of their darkness, like of their abuse, Absolutely. and tell you that they're a victim and you 
you gave them the courage every day every mm -hmm. day you know we hear a different story and you know out there walking is not easy you know those last five ten miles of the day are the hardest and you know the universe always brings you something um, to make you keep going and today for example you know one of our events we had a coach come up to us and share that one of their um, participants in the sport that they were doing um, was raped during spring break and this was a young girl in middle school, um, maybe high school, the beginning of high school, and, and so we were able to connect her with services on the spot and, and tell her where to go. And So every day we're really getting into people's lives and we're really connecting and being able to help and provide that hope and healing because mm -hmm. just because you're in a dark place like I was doesn't mean you have to stay there, that you can continue on this path. And, and that was what the walk when I started, it was really about. It seems like a really long journey that's not even possible to finish. Mm -hmm. But each step with the support of friends and family, you will get there. Mm -hmm. And every survivor will become a thriver. Mm -hmm. And that's a really important message. And, and I just, I'm so glad to be here because without you, I'm just a, a girl walking down the street, nobody oh. paying attention. No. So. no, 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 you're not just a girl. <laughs> <laughs> you're an extraordinary girl. Thank you very and, much. And, you know, your testimony that, Thank you, you know, you can get through an experience like this. Thank so, you. Lauren, we're going to take another quick break. I'm going to be back, though, at the end of the show with you. We're going to talk a little bit about some books that you've recently written and, Thank you. and what you're working on right Thank now. You. Stay with us. Thanks.